look, okay, I know, right? This is only going to be a 10 minute video, all right? I'm not trying to make this too long. I know you guys got other things to do today. Uh, you know I'm not going to be here, so I'm just trying to make it easy for you. We're still talking about this. I know I said I was going to move to chapter four, but I realized we never got to the end of this lecture and we have to talk about it because there may or may not be a few questions. I'm not going to do any current events because this is being recorded on Friday. By Monday comes, the whole world could have burned down. And how would I even know to tell you? Um, all I can say is um, I am predicting the score right now, 38 to 17, Kansas City Chefs. Uh, and if it comes true, and if you're watching this on Monday and this is true, uh, man, prognosticator, I'm amazing. Let's get through this as quickly as possible. I don't even think it should be 10 minutes. But we do have to talk about, which I have it right here, boom. We have to talk about um, the times where federalism has ever resulted in times of success and failure. We're going to be talking about both successes and failure. Let's start with successes. Uh, first of all, there is this. This is America, but all veiny, right? Uh, this is a veiny America. What are these called? Um, I can tell you these are called, boop. The national highway system this was a huge success especially for eisenhower um keep in mind this it took the cooperation of all the states working together for this to be able to happen and this was a federal success this is the idea from the national government but having to require the assistance of the states to make this happen right and what this did was several things right it opened up commerce across the nation uh we now have malls and fast food and hotels hotels are actually pretty interesting one day i might get into the details of hojo's howard johnson's uh but right now we should know that this created a nation of drivers it made us believe in vehicles um there's also this this is another success story does anybody know what this is this my dear friends, is the civil rights movement. Um, it took all the states working together to be able to make this work. Um, here's a map. Um, I'm going to ask you to not focus so much right here so much, but maybe focus more right here so much. Yes, um, Brown versus Board of Education was a Supreme Court ruling, yes. But the states still needed to work together. Uh, these states, especially in the South, were very adamant about this uh, before the ruling. And it was interesting to see that after Brown versus Board of Education, which desegregated the schools, right? So now African-American students can go to school with white students. And this was a big deal. This was a big deal. And states working together throughout the South and Texas um, really helped this move along. Uh, Utah actually had no legislation uh, about this. Uh, so I thought that was pretty interesting. Um, okay. So, let me ask you a question. What are the times that federalism has failed? Okay. Uh, well, I have those too. Um, we can talk about the war on drugs. Right? This is supposed to be a federal government mandate. We are supposed to have a war on drugs. Do you think that that has been successful? This has been going on since the 80s, since Reagan. And then it was continued on by Clinton. And then while it should have ended there, no. Uh, w. Bush, Obama, and Trump even started pushing this war on drugs. Um, and you'll see here it says some wars are not meant to be won. Uh, you probably can't see it because my face is right there. But yes, what we've seen through this is a lot of the CIA and a lot of... Um, other government agencies really pouring in money to this and where that money is going I couldn't exactly tell you some people say it is just going into the pockets of certain people um, and that could be true but the question is like if we really look at it is uh, is it time to end the war on drugs well the police are making money uh, banks are making money and drug cartels are still making money. The drug cartels are still making money and drugs are still being sold here in the United States, even though we've spent literally trillion dollars on this war on drugs and we are yet to see any kind of benefit. Um, and even so much to say, if we look here, um, do you think that making drugs legal would solve the problems in America with drugs? We have seen this in other in other countries, um, places like Sweden, uh, states like Oregon, as recently as November, has 
I shouldn't say legalized, decriminalized all drugs. That means if you went to Oregon and you had, um, let's say, heroin on you, the cops would write you a ticket, take your drug us, and send you on your way. Now, I don't know if we should be that liberal with it. it that scares me. But again, you know, who am I to say? I, we're all trying this in this great experiment of states. When we talked about states being um, labs of democracy, well, Oregon is definitely trying this out. So we'll see. I wanted to show you this, though. Uh, Nixon actually started the war on drugs. Most people attribute it to Reagan. Um, but uh, it, seemed, it would seem that Nixon did this uh, way back uh, a long time ago. Uh, lastly, I wanted to talk to you about one other failure. Um, and it is this. Um, many of you guys were just babies when this happened. Uh, this is Hurricane Katrina. And we could see that when it hit New Orleans, um, it was very, very bad. Um, it really, it sheared the roof off the Superdome. And this is actually, and you can see all the water going across here. This is where a lot of the people ended up. Now, this is a complete failure for the federal government for several reasons. First of all, the, um, the levees, the levees that um, broke, that let in all the water into New Orleans, they were overseen by the federal government. So yeah, we have the federal government failing there for sure. But um, right here is interesting. I know you can't read it. Um, let me see if I can do that. Yes, uh, it took five days for our federal government to get water to the Superdome. Five days. Talk about a complete failure. Like helicopters don't exist. And what happened inside that Superdome was awful. We are talking about rapes. We're talking about murder talking about theft we're talking about scaring old people uh it was pretty much um kill or be killed dog eat dog inside there for five days and the thing is people saw this coming it's not like it just showed up overnight and the federal government did little to help the people get out of new orleans and when we lost 1800 people in in new orleans because of this yeah so anyways, yes, that's where I'm going to end it right there. We have both successes and uh, failures of federalism. Make sure that you take note of some of these. Um, the quiz uh, will be on Canvas. Um, will be open on Monday, uh, which you're probably watching this on Monday. And the answer to the quiz or the question will be, um, what color is my shirt and hoodie? And the answer is, of course, blue. Uh, I like blue a lot. So if you can get that right, um, you will get full credit for this quiz. But make sure that you take notes uh, from this uh, lecture, too, be because it's only eight minutes. Uh, I don't think it should be too bad. I will see you guys on Wednesday. I hope you guys enjoy the game. I hope you guys have the greatest Monday of your life, uh, shortest lecture you'll ever have. All right. I'll see you guys later. Uh, bye.